And can a friendship ending sometimes be as painful as breaking up with a partner? Um, one journalist has said that she has had to get rid of a few so-called friends after discovering they were actually frenemies. I don't know if you've heard of this term before. Frenemy is a friend who pretends... They pretend to be a friend, but actually they're an enemy. <laughs> oh. You see, I would hope that when you get when you get to our age, that you've sort of sorted out yeah. the wheat from the chaff. But the other thing is, I think that there's a lot of pressure on us when it comes to friends that a friend is for life. Mm. But I'd see it as just like any other relationship that you, because in a way you fall in love with your friends. You, yeah. you know, you find things that you both that you're both interested in. They make you laugh. You get you get more fun doing things with a friend, just like you would in a sexual relationship. There's no sex, but that can also run out. It can run out of steam. A friendship okay, can like yeah, run out. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. true. And I, I love that I have now, a, at my age, a small group of friends that will be friends for life and, uh, you know, and, and, and I, I trust implicitly. And it that's... quite often happens when you have children, doesn't it? Yeah. That somebody that maybe you knew from school or whatever who hasn't had children and you see less and less of them because yeah. they sort of say, oh, well, we don't want children yeah. to come to yeah. our Sunday lunch or whatever. And so you sort of think, well, that's not very convenient. So, that, and I, I, I'm like you, I don't believe in that thing that just because you've known someone since you were 10, therefore, yeah. they're going to be part of your life forever. They will mm. be if you carry on getting on, but if yeah. not, what, why do you... You know that thing when you get a call and you think, oh, you know, I really have to... If you start thinking, I really, really should see them, and then you, you just get to that age in life where you think, no, I shouldn't, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I don't so, want to, yeah. I'm not going to. It's not enough time to see the people who really want yeah. to. You know, there's two or three people in my life that I know will be friends forevermore, but I actually was thrilled. A couple of years ago, I met this fantastic woman <coughs> and um, we became instantly, we just clicked and we were, I, I loved, like you said, I just loved her being around me. Yeah, she brought yeah. great joy to my life and, and I really admired her. She worked hard, she was a carer and she worked really hard. And then two years down the line, just walked out of my life, never to be seen or heard of. So she dropped where? you? Yeah, she just... <laughs> she, <laughs> <laughs> if you get dumped no, by a friend, all right. No, it is no, Can I just say, at the time, I was at, it, it was a bit like a breakup. I was absolutely of devastated. It is. I thought, and I kept texting her and phoning her, what have I done wrong, you know, and all that. And eventually she said, You haven't done anything wrong. She just moved to a different Listen, area. I, bet you, and I never heard from her I again. I bet you anything, because the thing that I'm most ashamed of in my whole life is that I have done that in the past to friends. And let me tell you, it won't be, it won't be about you, it'll be about her. I, I once, I've done it twice to Kay. No, Al Kay. Yeah, but, and but both Kenny Adams, but you, you yeah, two no, are like I know, I know, it's buddies. so embarrassing, it's so bad, but, and she's just so wonderful. But, but it was all about me. I started to get really insecure about whether I was, you know, enough as a friend, you know, and so I would think, oh, God, I can't, oh, she's so clever, she's so this, she's so that, she's so this, and I'm just this, and I'm all my insecurities, mm. which I then worked on through my yeah. life, and now I'm, you know, reasonably But secure. how long, <laughs> but, but, but how long you know were you what? not her friend for? <sighs> I don't really want to say it. Did go, I feel it's a, it's a thing of great shame in my life. Anyway, uh, it was years, but anyway, I, I, one day I just texted her and I said, listen, blah, 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 and she came straight back in the next That's second yeah. and she said she said you have always been my favorite person in the world Wait, are we should we meet up tomorrow and that was oh. it yeah. oh, I, think, I, think, I really do think I mean I, the, I don't know particularly about this lady that, yeah. whose piece we're talking about but I think you get the friends you deserve mm. and I think if oh, you great. are a <laughs> <laughs> friends for somebody yeah um and, and it has that grounding they will yeah. be a good friend back you know and, and actually Kay obviously understood the kind of person you were at the time yeah, that you yeah. were feeling insecure and so yeah. straight away forgave you didn't hold a grudge or anything yeah. yeah and I in my life I've got lots of friends but I compartmentalize my friends they don't yeah. know that I do but <laughs> a very small uh Knit group that I trust, <laughs> that I know I can say something deeply personal yeah. and it won't be repeated. I have a slightly wider circle where I know that they tell everybody something, not out of vicious.
deliciousness, but just because that's how they are and they're great fun and flamboyant and I have really good fun with them. And you just do that all the time, I think. Um, mm. But what I no longer have, which I used to have, I used to have a couple of toxic friends from I school days. Yeah. Where I'd think, oh, I've known them all this time, I've got to hang on in there. And I just, I think I hit 40 and I just went, Bye. Bye. Mm. Don't want that in my life anymore. See ya. There's so How many bonuses to, have to get so older. many friends you can compile. Compa <laughs> <laughs> you just hang on there. It's kind of Jesus, love. <laughs> Do you want to be my friend? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If a, if, a, if a friend who you think is a friend was actually an enemy is a frenemy, if you've been dumped by a friend, have you been frumped? What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 espressos have you had? <laughs> Do you know, I've had two espressos before the show. <laughs> 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 I don't know where I was at the end, from the beginning of that. Really? Well, <laughs> we've been frumped. For more Loose Women action, click here. And I'd subscribe if I were you. It's totally free and it means you'll be kept up to date with new videos and exclusive YouTube content. I have to say, she's got a very high sex drive, this woman. <gasps> oh, my God! So, I don't want men to think, oh, no, she won't have time, she's got these kids. Am I right or wrong, Kerry? Yeah.